So hear me now. Um, just did the Facebook Live. The motivation, the devotion for today. And in that moment, God would speak to me and say, Jeremiah, show me where they laid it. I'm like, Lord, what are you talking about? I misplaced my keys before I come out to the car. And I'm looking all around the house trying to find it. Hear me. I'm trying to find my keys. And they're right here in the car. I was coming to the car, but I was looking for my keys inside the house. I'm coming to the car because my mission, my motive, my mode, my, my assignment in this season was to drive. But I'm in the house, cannot find the keys that are in the car. Somebody didn't get that. I'm in the house trying to get to the car so I can drive. But I cannot find my keys because I'm in the house looking for keys to get to the car to drive the car while the keys are already in the car. Jesus says to Mary, Martha, the disciples, and anybody else who wanted to, to hear for today. I know it looks dead. The place people put you in a lot of the times is a dead place. A place where folk wanna dispute you for your call, your claim, your character. I told me to text somebody in the room on today. Show me where they laid it. What, where did they lay your dream that you gave up on? Where did they lay your self-doubt to, to have no faith in yourself? Where did they lay the ambition that you once had? Where did they lay the calling that was over your life? Where did they lay it? Where did they lay it on today? Where did they lay every negative word that they will put on your dream and your vision and your assignment and your calling, saying that you're not called enough, that you're, you're not enabled enough, is that you are too weak, that you are not really everything that you think that you are, is that you got a highfalutin mind, but it is that you already know the calling that is over your life and assignment that is over your mission. Where did they lay it? Where did they lay in? Where did they lay the calling that God says you are good enough? That you are more than enough. You are passionate enough. You are anointed enough. You educated enough. Where, where did they lay it that you would give up on it? Where did they lay your dream of getting married? Is that... You can't give up so easily in this season. And I'm not going to stay on here long. I just needed to tell somebody in the room on today. Show God where they laid it. If every, if everything, every, everything, everything, if everything that they would put behind a stone of doubt. If everything they would put behind their rock of unbelief. Everything that they would put behind a devastated place to say, if I don't have it, you can't have it. Where did they lay it? It's right where God is going to resurrect it. Listen to me on today. God says that what I'm doing for you in this season is something that is so big. It's so, it's so grandstanding. It is. It's so motive for mission to be mighty in your in your story of how you got over. That it's gonna take people who doubted you to help you in your season of resurrection. I don't know what you allowed people to bury over your life, over your future, over over your family, over over your situation. 
I don't know if it was they buried the the financial resources possibility that they would bury your vision based off of your credit. They would bury the dream based off of your lack of education. They would bury it. They, they would bury it. They, they, they bury it yours because they didn't have one. They, they buried everything that was good coming out of your mouth, good connected to your spirit. They, they buried it because theirs was toxic. They, they had nothing but negativity. They, they couldn't see life for themselves, so they would bury anything that seemed like it was life coming from you. They, 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 they buried it, and you allowed them to bury it. And I told me to tell three people in the room on today. They may have buried it. You may have allowed them to put the stone of doubt over this where you stay in this dead place. Stagnant, not growing, not moving. For years, you sit right here. Because I know you've been wrapped up in all that doubt. All that BS, all, all that junk, all, all those wrong projections, all that negativity. All that stuff that is not possible is they they ain't gonna do that for you. You 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 think they gonna loan you that kind of money? You you've been wrapped up in all that junk all this time. God told me to tell you on today. Even while you're wrapped up in it, even while you cannot see the light ahead of you, even though you don't know how it's gonna come to pass, who it's gonna come through, or when and where. God told me to tell you in the room on today, listen to me. He says, you have to get up and come forth. Oh, I can't hear nobody. You have to come forward in every possibility. You have to come forward in every positive projection. You have to come forward even though you're wrapped up in the doubt of people around you who don't support you. You have to come forth on today. Can can you walk still while wrapped in it? Be, be, because you'll always be wrapped in it as long as you're standing still, allowing them and their doubt and their negativity and their, uh, their disbelief in you to lay you in this dead place. You'll always stay wrapped in it until you start walking forward in it. Notice, 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 forward is movement. Is that uh, Lazarus is wrapped up in... Uh, Funeral attire. He is wrapped up. He is mummified. He is embalmed. He's wrapped up in everything looks dead. But he has to start moving even in a dead place. Listen to me on today, my God. I don't know who this is for, but let me tell you, in the room, God said you got to walk forward even in the dead place. It, it don't matter if the credit ain't where it need to be. I'm still... Going forth with the business plan. It don't matter if you believe me or if you want to walk away, if you want to support, if you want to pay into it, or you want to go ahead and block me on every every site, every email, every if every phone number I got. I'm still walking forward in it. You you have to walk in a dead place to know that God will bring light and life to any situation. Watch this now. As he's walking. Everything that is, was connected to him dying begins to fall off. Is that people that was mourning are now moving the stone. Pe people that was questioning God about why he died are now beginning to praise God that he's alive. That I'm, I'm talking about folk connected to you in this season really want you to win. I'm, I'm talking about them folk that would been your cheerleaders from day one, but they just needed to see you walk in it. God told me to tell you on today, baby, you you better start walking. Walk, walk, walk while you wrapped up. Walk, walk while don't nobody believe you. Walk, walk in a place where it seems like I ain't got no hope. I ain't got no future. I ain't got no finances. I ain't got the credit. I ain't got the rapport. I ain't even got the background for it. But I'm going to walk in the life even though it looked dead. I'm walking in it. God is able to bring life to anything. Man would call dead in this season. God says it ain't dead. See, I say it's dead. You shall live, shall not die.